Well, honey, you sure are quiet. It worries me when you're quiet. You're never quiet. <laughs> I What's on your mind? I was thinking about those 126 buckets out there. You know we're about to have to dump them and refill them. Just talking about wee woo. <laughs> Yeah, well, you've never done that part because we never had this many buckets. When we had the test gutter, I did it. We only had nine buckets, so you didn't see how it's done. You can't just, you know, stick that dirt back in the bucket and plant something in it because all the nutrients are gone. You can use part of it, but you still have to mix it with more peat and more compost and more amendments. Plus, you got to clean the bucket. All right. You know, wash it out with Clorox water. So, I've been thinking. ruh -ro. <laughs> Sounds like you're going to be pulling out your sketch pad soon. Well, actually, I already did pull it out. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, so I was basically just thinking on the right timing to introduce this topic. Did I pick a good time? It's a good time as any. You're up for a project? I'm always up for a good project. Oh, good. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. An outdoor kitchen. <laughs> it is not. You can do it. We can do it. Do I have to write names or all those boxes that's out there? In the <laughs> no. Oh, well, you know? Shall we make a trip to Lowe's? I reckon so. Hey there. Well, the video you're about to see, I put together of Randy building the reclamation box. Hopefully it won't look too hodgepodge and confusing. You see, when he builds projects, he always has his diesel truck running and music on. So, I don't know how YouTube's gonna handle that. Sometimes they hear music even in the background on the radio and it will come out as copyrighted. If that happens, I'll have to redo the video with no sound and just kind of talk over um, each of the steps to show you what he's doing. But hopefully it'll work out. So here it is. Hi, Mr. Farmer Brown. What honey do are you doing? This is going to be a reclamation box. And what is that? place to store old dirt and compost and garden stuff that we don't want to just throw away. We want to keep it and restore it and use it again. Cool beans. What you need me for? Checking on the hubs. Looks like he's built the bottom, the floor. And he's treated two by fours. And he's using fence posts, which I think are cedar. So they should definitely last. Don't look at all that mess. We need some serious serious weed eating back here in this back 40 
He's waiting on helpers to move this heavy thing in place. That is a fiberglass made roofing material. He chose that instead of metal. Don't really want to get cut and he's not going to run it the wrong way. So, because that's just him. Got to run where it'll work. Otherwise, what's the point? Help has arrived. Well, he's being picky about it being level, front to back and side to side. My personal opinion is it's just a box to hold dirt. It doesn't have to be level. <clears throat> but I will not fuss, but he's doing it. You want to stop and explain why why the side, I mean the front, doesn't go all the way up? Brilliant. And this is the frame for the, I don't know what to call it. The brilliant door flap because when the box is not full having to bend way over from the top would be difficult to shovel so one of us had this awesome idea she had the idea she's saving me work uh-huh okay <laughs> Top's not built. We just laid that on there, but that's gonna work. We've got a chance of rain every day this week, so that'll kind of help keep the water out of the box. I'll try to finish tomorrow. Yeah, we're tired, and he stinks. Oh my goodness! You could have been something if you tried. Woo wee, you musky! <laughs> The lid. Do you have it hinged yet? Sure enough. Sure enough. So you use pressure treated at the back? Yeah, in case water comes down from the wall. Okay. Box. Ready for dirt. It's not dirt now. You get in trouble for calling Ready it dirt. Right. Reclaiming the mix. Boo -ah. Now to the table. Yep, now to the table. So. 
this baby's gonna be full of mix from our buckets before too long. Bye. Have a good one.